Charles. I cannot believe today is finally here. When I first met you, I had no idea that you were going to be as important to me. And now I feel like I can't live without you. Today they will receive God's greatest gift. Another person to share with, grow with, change with, be joyful with, and to stand with as one when trials and tribulations enter their lives. Oh, love will bring you to your knees To sow seeds of grace Your heart of me, of earth and sea Your eyes of time and space Like a carpenter, I caught your hands From driftwood Please, my veins inside your dreams to woo you while you sleep. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say that I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Chuck, for 21 years I've always had someone that took care of me, had my back no matter what. Someone who's always had my best interests at heart and always shown it. For the last 25 years, on the other hand, you've had someone who loved to bug you and wear your clothes when you told me not to. You've always been the best big brother I could have ever asked for and it makes me so happy to see you happy now. I composed your bones from sinful me. First time he met me, he brought me a gift, so I knew he was kissing up off the bat. He bought me Matt, he bought me Madden 19, I remember it, because I had Antonio Brown on the cover of it. And he bought it for me, and I was like, oh, he's gonna marry my sister. I was like, yes. I was like, he's kissing up to me, but no, like, I, f I speak for all my family, I'm sure. I'm very thankful that Rachel has met somebody as great as Charles. I've always considered him like a brother to me, even like when we first started meeting, and I'm very honored to say that he, he is my brother, and I mean that. And I'm very excited to be able to, I'm really excited to be able to welcome him into the family. We've been through so much in the last few years, but we are finally to this day. I'm beyond thankful you fought for me and kept trying or we would never be. Rachel, I just want to start off by saying I love you more than life itself. And I'm the luckiest man in the world to have an amazing woman like you. Be my best friend, my ride or die, my forever. There's no way I'm gonna be able to read this whole thing. <laughs> Never saw my life the way it should be until I got together with you for the second time. The first time we got together could have been my only opportunity to be with you. 
but you gave us another chance and that was the greatest day of my life. Ever since you and Rachel have been together, I've watched you grow from my big brother to a man that I've always looked up to. I thank the Cornelius just for raising such a great boy and I think we've done a pretty darn good job for Rachel as well, so it's gonna be a great family. <laughs> If I ever get in trouble, I would call you. If I ever needed a Remy partner, I would pick you. <laughs> if I ever just needed someone to talk to, I would talk to you. Thank you for being the best big brother I could have ever asked for. I love you, bub. Rachel. My sissy in law. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly have never seen my brother any happier than he is right now. I know that you're to thank for that, and I appreciate everything that you do for my brother and me also. You have always been the sister-in-law I wanted, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, love, and laughter. Congrats, I love you guys. How we found each other again with four years in between can only be explained as divine intervention. I promise to keep God at the forefront of our marriage and to grow in the likeness of Christ alongside me. I never imagined finding someone who would love me as much as Christ loves the church. But I know you're going to love me as close as you can to how Jesus does. I once was told you will know the person you're supposed to be with when you can insert their name into 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8. And the biblical definition of love fits their love for you. Charles is patient for me. Charles is kind to me. He does not envy. He does not boast. He's not proud. He does not dishonor others. He's not self-seeking. He is not easily angered. He keeps no record of wrongs. Charles does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. He always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, and Charles never fails me. Through thick and thin, I promise to be your light in the darkness, your blanket when you are cold, your compass when you get lost. There's only two things running through my mind. I am one lucky man, and you are absolutely gorgeous. I promise to be there for you, no matter what. Always. Your heart is my promise the day you asked me to marry you and the day I actually marry you will forever be the best days of my life. Your heart is Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you now Mr. and Mrs. Charles Cornelius III. You may kiss your bride. Please.